Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Our God is good. Hallelujah. Our God is good Hallelujah. all the time. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. We appreciate you. We give you all the praise and honor. Thank you, our Father and our God, for your loving kindness, your tender mercies. Thank you, Father, for the opportunity yes, yes. to come and learn at your feet today, O oh Lord. We give you all the glory. We appreciate you. We exalt your name on high because there is none like you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Omniscient, omnipotent God will bless you. Father, we worship you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We appreciate you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We magnify your holy name because there is none like you. Thank you, Father, for your presence in our midst. Father, because we believe you are here. Your word says where two or three are gathered in your name. There you are in the midst of them. Father, we bless you because we know you are here. Thank you, Father, for shaking that glory upon our church, upon our lives. Father, we give you praise. We adore you, Lord. We worship you. Thank you, our Father and our God. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. We give you all the praise. We give you all adorations. Thank you, Father. We worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Uh, let us open our Bibles to the book of Deuteronomy 30, 16. Deuteronomy 30, 16. We are going to pray on um, increase that the Lord will increase us and bless us yes. and um, the only way to uh, enjoy the increase and blessing of God is for us to walk in the ways of God to walk with God and to keep his commandments so Deuteronomy 30 16 reads in, in that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his status and his judgments that thou mayest live and multiply, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. Yes, yes. The, only, the only way to enjoy God's increase and blessing yes. is to walk in His ways, to love Him, and to keep His commandments. We are going to pray that Lord help me, O Lord, to love You, because you need to love God to want to please Him, to want to do things. That he commanded you to do for you to keep his his, his, uh, his laws and his ordinances. It is only when you love him wholeheartedly, when you have the love of God in you, you will be able to what well, will keep his commandments. So we are going to pray that Lord help me to love you wholeheartedly. Increase your my my love for you. Increase my love for you, Lord. Help me to walk in your ways and to keep your commandments. Let us begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, help me, oh Lord, Father, to walk in your ways, to keep your commandments to the letter, in the name of Jesus. Help me to walk in your ways, 
to love you wholeheartedly and to keep your commandments and status in the name of Jesus. Help me, O oh Lord. Help me, O oh Lord. Everything and anything that will hinder me from walking in your ways, I renounce them now. I cast them away from my life. Every hindrance and obstacles to my walking with you. Father, I cancel now. I come against such now. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you because you are God. We are going to continue in praying on that Deuteronomy 30, 16. Says, that thou mayest live and multiply, not yes. only to multiply us, but to make us have longevity. It's there for you to live and multiply. That is, uh, we will live long and enjoy the multiplication yes, of God upon yes, our life. Lord. Let us begin to pray. Lord, Father, Lord, thou, Lord, that, Lord. Thou, that we may live and multiply. We Help me to multiply. walk in your way. That I may live and multiply in the name of Jesus. That I may enjoy your blessings, your increase. Your, 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 the, the riches that you are going to bless me with, the wealth that you are going to give unto me, give me longevity yes. to be able to enjoy it. Rabba, in Rabba. the name of Jesus, pray that you will enjoy the goodness it. of God, the message, the prosperity, yes. the wealth that God is going to give you. In the name of Jesus, Rabba. and it says for that, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land without thou goest to possess. Rabba. Wherever you go, wherever the sole of your feet shall tread. That the Lord will Rokoboto help you to possess your possession. That the Lord will bless you, increase you, and light your hope. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray this day that you will bless us, you will increase us. In the name of Jesus. In every area of our life, Father, increase us. Increase us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Let us grow greater, O Lord, in everything that we do, in all areas of our lives. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, give us divine increase. Yes. In, the in the name of Jesus. Bring wealth. Bring la, riches. La, 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 bring abundance la, 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 into our lives. In the name of Jesus. Begin to cancel every limitation in your life. Come against stagnation. Yes. Come against every setback yes. in your life. In everything that you do. In the name of Jesus. Father, we cancel setback. We cancel every spirit of error. Sometimes we, we fall into some errors that deprive us of God's blessings. Begin to cancel every spirit of error in your life. Every limitations will come against you. Every spirit of error will cast you out of our life. In the name of Jesus. No more stagnation. Yes. No more retrogression. No more limitations. In the name of Jesus. Every failure at the edge of breakthrough will come against you now. We cancel you now. In the name of Jesus. No more stagnation. No more limitations. No more retrogression. In the name of Jesus. No more failure. No more. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Father, you will enlarge our hope. You will increase us, O Lord. You will bless us. Bless the works of our hands. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray that overflowing blessing and, and increase will come upon you. Possess your life. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for overflow, overflowing blessing. In the name of Jesus. And increase to possess our lives. Possess the lives of our children. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you are God. And finally, let's open the, our Bible to the book of Psalms. Psalms. Um, Psalms 105. Verse 39. When we were praying at the pastor's um, office now, we just prayed with this um, particular Bible scripture um, verse. He said, I, I want to read from verse 39. He said, He spread a cloud for a covering. That is how God, how good God was with the children of Israel from in their wilderness journey from Egypt to the promised land. He said, He spread, that is, God spread a cloud for a covering and fire to give light in the night. Verse 40, the people asked and he brought quills when they were crying for meat. They said they were tired of what they've been eating. They needed meat. And God gave them quills in abundance and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. 41, he opened the rock and the water gushed out. They ran in the dry places like a river. That is water that came out of the rock. Gushed out. They ran in the dry places like a river. You can imagine. That is abundance. We are going to pray. That God would bless us abundantly. Not just, not just any kind of blessing, but blessing in abundance. Overflowing blessings will come upon our lives. Begin to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, our Father and our God. We pray, O oh Lord, for overflowing blessings. Blessings. 
that men will see and behold the glory of God upon our lives. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, remember us for good. Increase us, O oh Lord. Let your blessings be abundant in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Let us commit the Bible study into the hands of the Lord. That the Lord will move like never before in our midst. He will speak to us from the throne of glory through his servant. In the name of Jesus. Pray that the Lord will speak through him and give him powerful revelations for each and every one of us this time. And the Lord, that the Lord will meet us at the point of our needs, at, at the point of our individual needs. In the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, for divine revelation from the throne of mercy. In the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh Lord, for your revelation, O oh Lord. Speak to your servant to us, O oh Lord. We want to hear you, O oh Lord, this night. In the name of Jesus. That our lives will not remain the same. Meet us at the point of our need. Minister to us individually, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise because you are God. We ask for your Shekinah glory upon us today. Move like never before. Fill your fill this auditorium with your power in the name of Jesus. We want to encounter you in the name of Jesus. We are not praying. Please let us pray. That our coming here, we shouldn't just be in church because, oh, Pastor, we say, why, why wasn't I in church? Let us come with an expectant, expectant heart. The heart that the Lord is going to meet us at the point of our need. Father, we praise you. We give your glory. That you are going to meet us at the point of our needs. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. You will glorify yourself in our lives. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. Let us pray more concerning our uh, increase. Concerning, you know, this month is a month of uh, a new name and new testimonies. For us to have new testimonies, that means God uh, must have done something great in our lives. We are going to pray that Lord. You will move in our lives this year. In this month of a new name and a new and new testimonies, Father, you will glorify yourself. Give us new testimonies. He is our El Shaddai, the, the, the all-sufficient God. That the Lord will move as El Shaddai in our lives. In your life and in my life, begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jehovah El Shaddai, move like never before. In the life, life of every individual of this church, in the name of Jesus. Fill our hearts and our life with joy. With your might, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bless us abundantly. Glorify yourself in our lives. Jehovah Jireh. Meet us at the point of our need. Provide for all our needs. According to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, glorify yourself in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Move like never before. In the life of every individual. And Lord, increase. Pray. Don't only pray for yourself. Pray that the Lord in the book of Psalms 115, verse 14. That, that pray that the Lord shall increase you more and more and even your children. Pray for your children. That the Lord has, the Lord is increasing you more and more. He will increase your children. And none of our children will not get any good thing in life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, we bless you. We give you praise and honor. Oh, we exalt your name because there is none like you. We worship you, Lord, because we know you are God. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. I want us to pray this last prayer. Let us pray that the Lord will increase our spiritual life. That the Lord will increase our life spiritually. Pray for increase in your spiritual life. When you attain a certain stage in your spiritual life, you will see how God will begin to visit you and make life begin to perform for you in place and place. Begin to pray that the Lord will increase our spiritual life. In the name of Jesus. It will increase our, it will ignite our prayer altar. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. I give you praise and God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Somebody begin to bless him tonight. Begin to give him all the praise. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Bless him as our God tonight. Let's give him honor. Let's we give, give him all the, all the praise. Glory. We give you all the praise. Thank give him all the adoration. We adore you, Lord, because there is no like you. Thank you, our Father. Now. Somebody Jesus. bless you. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Somebody worship you. Almighty Redeemer, we worship you. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank we sing your praise forevermore. Yes. You are the great, the great. We give you praise forevermore. Are you here to worship him tonight? You are the 
You are the great, the great I am. We give you praise, we give you praise. For I'll let you take the mic and back up for me. This is what you want to say. Hallelujah. We give you praise. Come on, somebody praise For With our hands in the of Hallelujah. 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 Sing with confidence, man. Come on now. We give you praise.
Somebody give him praise. Begin to worship the king. Worship him tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Somebody give him praise. Almighty Redeemer, we bless you. We adore you. We give you all our praise. We give you all praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we thank so many potent gods. Our elder God. Our Jehovah Nisi. The rose of Charles. The balm of God. Bless the be God. The seed of the body. The lion of the body. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody bless him tonight. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Can I hear your good amen tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. I said, can I hear your wonderful amen tonight? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you help me tell your neighbor you are welcome to service? You are welcome to service. Tell him how you are welcome to service. Amen. Tell him one more time you are welcome you are to service. Welcome to service. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the God we have come to worship, that God will bless us tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said, the God you have come to worship will bless you tonight. Somebody say, God will bless me tonight. Lord and be that God will bless me tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Now we are in our month of a new name, a new name, a new testimonies. I wrote something on my notes this afternoon that success is not by chance. It takes a conscious effort. Somebody say conscious effort. Success. Breakthroughs are not by chance. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just give me a second. And tonight we're, we're going to be looking at something on our way to breakthrough. On our way to what? To breakthrough. We're going to be looking at the word of God. That is why we are here tonight. So, I want to congratulate you for being here tonight and I know God is going to bless you. Amen. Somebody say, I know God will bless me. You want to say it better? I know God will bless me. Louder and bigger. I want you to say better and bigger. I know my God will bless me. I know my God will bless me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, I know my God will bless me. I know my God will bless me. Now, tonight we're going to be looking at the word Dedication to kingdom service. What did I call it? Dedication to kingdom service. Dedication. If I will ask, what is the meaning of dedication to you? What do you understand by the word dedication? Amen. Anybody? To be committed. Can we use the mic? I think we have many mics here. So that to we... be committed. Dedication means one is to be committed. Another Definition for commit for dedication. Hello, answer me quickly. Let's do it faster. Use the mic. Hallelujah. I think uh, Alex is only one mic. I'll be able to probably back. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. To serve. Okay, dedication is to serve. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Another person. Dedication, I believe, is. Uh, Going all in, vision driven, um, with no hopes to back out in the pursuit of vision and purpose. Okay, get another de definition. Exodus 23 verse 25 to 27. Anybody there? 23. 
25 to 27. Okay. See what I'm looking for. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless. Somebody say he will bless. He will be blessed. That means in service, there is blessing. And you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water. Go ahead. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. And he will take sickness. Sickness. Somebody say sickness. Sickness. I'm not hearing you now. Sickness. Sickness. He said he will take sickness away. Somebody say away. Away. In the midst of thee. Go ahead. They shall not cast their young, nor be barren mm -hmm. in thy land. Mm -hmm. The number of thy days I will fulfill. Mm -hmm. I will send my fear before thee, and will destroy all the people to whom thou shalt come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I will make all thy enemies turn their backs unto thee. I will make all your enemies. Somebody say all my enemies. All my enemies. As a result of dedicated service. Praise God. Hallelujah. Those who serve God are called servant of God. What did I call it? Servant of God. It doesn't mean you should be a pastor before you become a servant of God. There is no dedicated service that will not be you being serving somebody. Praise the Lord. Am I, am I saying something? Yes, sir. Serving somebody. Talking about serving God. And you shall serve the Lord your God and it will bless your bread and your water. The Bible said it will take sickness away from you. Amen. So in actual service, in genuine service, sickness are being taken away. Amen. Oh, are you listening to me tonight? Yes, sir. Sickness are being rolled away. Amen. When you serve God, not with eye service, but with your heart. Somebody said the meaning of dedication is commitment. If I will ask you, are you really committed to God in breaking forth? Oh, Pastor, I don't need to be, you know, I can be committed as well. But this is where you come. This is the channel to your blessing. Praise the Lord. Oh, you don't say the good event to that. This is where you serve. This is where you mark your register. Am I saying something? Because you can't serve God in breaking forth and go and reap your blessing in another church. If you begin from here, God will look at your record. We are serving a God that has a record. Are you are you are you following me tonight? Yes, sir. We are serving a God. Somebody, I'm serving a God yes, that has a record. Yes, Amen. Yes, he has a record of every one of us in His hand. Hallelujah. Yes. And when you are serving God, you will be recognized by God. So I want us to rethink and recheck our service. Am I really serving God or I'm playing? Hallelujah. Am I really serving God? You can't use prayer to bribe God to bless you. It is your service to God. And listen to me, Alice. Is somebody you value that you serve? Am I speaking? Is somebody you value? Let's see the book of Genesis 26 verse 24. Genesis. When you serve God, God himself we always remember his promises concerning you. Starting from tonight, God's promises in your life will never fail. Amen. That amen is for David to look I said it will never fail. Amen. So after me, God promises. God promises. In, for my life. For my life. Will never fail. Will never in the name of Jesus. Name Go of ahead. Jesus. What did he say? And the Lord appeared unto him the same night. Listen to me tonight before tomorrow morning. God will appear to you. Amen. Ah, in the midst of that confusion, when Isaac doesn't know what to do, God remembered the service of Abraham, his father. Are you with me? Yes, sir. God remember. God took note of it. Someone is hearing me. So I want to, I want to, I want to put you, I want to dare you to believe that the way you serve God determines how God will bless you, how God will protect you. Even in the time of danger. Go ahead, one more time, please. And the Lord appeared unto him. And the Lord appeared, appeared, appeared. Someone is hearing me, watching all over the world. 
The Lord will appear to you and he will change your story. Amen. Am I speaking to myself? The Lord will change my story. Amen. As I'm serving God dedicatedly, committedly. Listen, I and Pastor Lara, we are praying in the office. Hello? Yes. And somebody gave somebody called me. I spoke to him a year ago. When we moved into this place, we wanted to get some stuff. And he said, I'm going to sow hundred dollars. And I told him, because God gave me my citizenship, in a year time, you will get your home. He called me. Am I right, man? Yes, he just called me. He said, he said, Pastor, I said, you have got your citizenship. He said, how did I know? One year ago, he said, Pastor, I just got my citizenship today. He said, you remember you prayed for me one year ago. In the place of service. Service to God. Service to God. Service to God. Service to God. I was telling Pastor Lara this evening, sometimes people give me clothes. People give me shoes. I look at the price of the shoe and I pay the tithe. I look at the price of the dress and I pay the tithe. Praise the Lord. That is another level of faith. I'm not saying you do so. But when you serve God, listen to me, God will make every other thing to begin to serve you. So, oh, you're not saying amen to that. He didn't keep to your mind. <laughs> Pastor, that is your own. You can say whatever you want to say. But I'm telling you tonight, kingdom service will not make you to be a servant to taskmasters. Kingdom service we eradicate confusion in your life. Amen. Someone is living here tonight. As you believe this one, you shall be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That amen is very important. You shall be set free in the name of Jesus amen. Christ. Do you know kingdom shall also require your time, your prompt obedience? Let's read that verse one. We didn't finish. Verse 24. And the Lord appeared unto him the same night. And the Lord appeared, on, God will appear to you. Amen. And said, I am the God of Abraham thy father. Now listen now. God appeared unto who? Isaac. Isaac. I am the God of your father, Abraham. Go ahead. Fear not. Fear not. For I am with thee. For I am with thee. I will bless thee. I will bless thee. And multiply thy seed for my oh. servant Abraham. For my sake. servant Abraham's sake. Can somebody say, Alice, I'm going to bless you because of comfort. I'm going to bless you because your, your mother did some things. She kept to the promises. Hey, I'm going to bless you then because you served me. I will bless breaking for church because David is always serving God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said for, for my servant's sake, not because of what you have done, Isaac. He said because of the promise I have for your father. Let's look at the account of Moses. Moses was a servant of God. Serving God in the presence of God. I want you to change your perspective the way you serve God. Because you are not coming to serve David or Ali. You are coming to serve God as an avenue for your own blessing in this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the way you serve God determines how God elevates you. But pastor, I'm serving God. I'm still having some challenges. The Bible said, the suffering of this present time favor cannot be compared to the weight of glory. The suffering is just for a moment. You can destroy your suffering with kingdom service. Georgette, can you hear me? We destroy suffering. We destroy sickness. It's in the Bible, you know that, right? We destroy failure. We destroy tumors. We destroy cancer. We destroy failure. Somebody say failure. Yeah. Via service to God. Your dedication. Your commitment. You got to renew your commitment. Listen to me. We want to recruit genuine committed people. We want to recruit people that are committed. Not one leg in, one leg out. Are you with me? Yeah. Because rain falls, you won't come to the house of God. Because you didn't win the country, you won't come to the house of God. Look, I was going to Tampa on Tuesday and I missed my first flight in Atlanta. The second time they said I must stand by. And again, they said I'm not in that. I won't enter that plane. I walk and I say, Lord, what is going on? 
And the Lord said, Let those two go. Your own is coming. And when the last when the, when the flight came around 3:15, they were calling everybody. They did. I just sat there. I said, Lord, if you don't want me to go, I just thank you. And you know what they did? They said, Where is David? I was going to say, Someone just said, Sit down here. I said, No, he said, Sit down here. They put me in a business class. Wow. Not comfort to business class. Wow. And I began to meet different kind of people there. When you are serving God, you will not carry last. Amen. <laughs> what did I say? When you are serving God, put it on the Facebook for me. Tap it there for me. When you are serving God, you will never carry last too. To carry love, God will fast forward the track. Amen. You will move forward. Amen. Moses was a servant of God. Let's see Exodus chapter 4, verse 10. Moses, the servant of God, he was a servant of God. God, until you become a servant, you cannot lead people. Hello, yes. you can't lead people, you can't because you have to go through some training before you can be a trailblazer. If you don't go through the training, you can't be a trailblazer. Are you with me? Yes. You must go. Somebody said, I must go through. I must go through. Glory be to God. Go ahead. What did he say? And Moses said unto the Lord, mm -hmm. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. I am not eloquent. I am not eloquent. Neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant. Mm -hmm. But I am slow of speech mm -hmm. and of a slow tongue. You know, somebody told me, Pastor, I don't want to be used by God. Don't ever say that again. You must be used by God. If you are not used by God, you will be useless on the earth. Are you listening to me now? Yes. You must be what? Be used by God. He said, Lord, look. He was giving excuses. Lord, I am not eloquent. I cannot speak better. God is not looking at how you can speak. God is looking at your heart. Your service to God. Your service to God is what destroys your limitation. Oh, somebody, are you listening to me? Your service to God. Somebody say my service to God. My service to God. It's what destroy limitations. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at what it says in Exodus chapter 14. Look at verse 21. Let's start from verse 20. 14. From verse 20 to 21. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody I said, I will serve God till I die. I will serve God till I die. Go ahead. And it's came between the camp of Egyptians and the camp of Israel. Go ahead. And it was a cloud and dark to them. Go ahead. But it gave light by night to, to these, so that the one came not near the other all the night. Verse 21. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. Do you know something? God honored the word of his servant. When you serve God, we're in Atlanta on Saturday, and the rain was about to fall, because I know the God that I'm serving. I said, rain. Before I came to say it outside, I've said it in my mind. This rain must obey me as a messenger. Yes, the rain is a messenger. Yes. I am also a servant of God. Yes. So this rain must obey the voice of a servant of God. I didn't say more than that. I didn't say, everybody begin to pray. Begin to, I don't need your prayer for God to do it. I need my service for God to do it. You didn't hear me tonight. Amen. My service. Somebody say your service. My yes. service. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Go ahead, that verse 21. And Moses stretched out his hand mm -hmm. over the sea. Mm -hmm. And the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind go ahead. all that night. And made the sea dry land. Mm -hmm. And the waters were divided. Uh -huh. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea go upon ahead. the dry ground. Uh -huh. And the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God honor the word of his servant. He performed the counsel of his servant. He made his minister flames of fire. <laughs> when you serve God, hey, somebody say, hey! Some people cannot say it. They are afraid to say that. They can't breathe better. Come on now. I said, hey! <laughs> Glory! Serving God. 
will bring honor into your life. Serving God. Serving God. Brings honor into your life. When you serve God, you will not be rejected in the midst of people. Amen. Book of record will be open to you. Amen. As a book of record will be open for you. Amen. As a book of record will be open for you. Amen. People that, listen, the God will take their sleep from them. Amen. Because you are serving Amen. People that serve God, kingdom service, can never be stranded. Amen. Are you with me? Yes. I said it again. Those who serve God never carry last. Amen. You will not carry last. Amen. I said I will not carry last. I will not carry last. Lord and bigger, I will not carry last. I will not carry last. Look at what he said in the book of Joshua. Concerning Joshua. Joshua chapter 5, verse 13 to 15. There was an angel that came around. And Joshua began to question the angel. When you are serving God, you are in authority. Joshua 5, verse 13 to 15. Quickly. And it, Go ahead. And it came to pass, mm -hmm. when Joshua was by Jericho, uh -huh. that he lifted up his eyes and looked. Mm -hmm. And behold, there stood a man over against him yes. with his sword drawn in his hand. Go ahead. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, mm -hmm. Art thou for us oh. or for our adversaries? Go ahead. And he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of the Lord, mm -hmm. am I now come? And Joshua fell on his face to the heart mm -hmm. and did worship uh -huh. and said unto him, yeah. What says my Lord unto his servant? What says my Lord? Joshua recognized that it is a servant of God. You also can be a woman, a servant, a woman as I mean, a servant woman of God. He recognized. Listen, in this kingdom, you must recognize your position. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You can't be a servant of God and be having complication in your life, be living a crooked life. What did I call it? Answer me, what did I say? You can't use prayer to cover your sin. We cannot. We can't use prayer and fasting to bribe God. Somebody, are you listening to me? Oh, you're not hearing me tonight. Yes, sir. You cannot. You can't live a double life. Servant of God cannot live a double life. There is kind of a church I knew in Nigeria. I don't want to mention their name. They can pray. And when you lack the word, you exert your energy. Because the word of God is the key. Do you know when you lack the word, you commit a lot of sin? Because the word of God is a regulator. The word of God is what directs you. Somebody say direct me. Direct me. The word. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, they pray for three hours, four hours. After the prayer, you see yourself see committing one sin or the other. Why are you praying that prayer? Now, people can pray, but they cannot read the Bible. They can't read one chapter. What kind of prayer is that? You are praying for four hours. But you cannot study the word of God for 30 minutes. Somebody say 30 minutes. You have to be dedicated to the word of God. Dedicated to God because God cannot... The Bible says God honor his word above his name. Glory be to God. Because of time, I don't want to take your time tonight. Let's go to the book of Daniel, chapter 6. Daniel chapter 6, verse number 16. Service to God bear you out of trouble. Service to God. Hallelujah! Amen. Deliver you from the hand of death. Amen. Service to God. Verse 16. Only she's reading the Bible. What did he say? Then the king commanded. Then the king commanded. And they brought Daniel. And they brought Daniel. And cast him into the den of lions. They cast Daniel. Somebody said they cast him. They cast him. Oh, you didn't hear me. I said they do what? They cast him. Are you opening your Bible? Yes. Are you sure you open your Bible? Yes. He said they cast him. They took Daniel. Why did they throw him into the den of lion? Because he was serving God. He was praying to God. And they took Daniel and they cast him into the den of lion. Go ahead. Now the king spake. Now the king spake. To Daniel. Please listen to this scripture. The king began to speak to Daniel. Go ahead. 
Daniel, or to Daniel, thy God whom thou servest continually, now listen. he will deliver thee. Everybody, you are not giving me attention, man. He said, the God, Alice, are you listening to me? Yes, sir. He said, the God you serve, look at your Bible. I want you to open to your Bible. You are watching online, you are watching on site. Open your Bible right now. Encourage yourself and open it. Let it not be like a mere story. This is the word of life that is able to change your life when you serve God continually. That you don't need to be coming late to church. Nothing should hinder you because if you are going for that contract interview, if you are going for that exam, if you are going to meet your doctor, that is just a mortar man, you will not go late. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. Am I right? Yes, sir. What did he say in verse 16? I want Alex to read it now. Verse 16. Give him the mic, please. Thank you. Verse 16. Yeah. Then the king commanded. Then the king commanded. And they brought Daniel. And they brought Daniel. Go ahead. And cast him in the den of life. They cast Daniel. Somebody say they cast him. They cast him. They are not even cast you. You are not serving God. They will not show any trial. You are not serving God. How much more did that put somebody? They lied against you what you have not done. What is going to happen to you? You will retire forever. Praise the Lord. If I'm looking at you, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to people online and people here. Praise the Lord. Not only you, people are watching all over the world. So this one is meeting everybody. Read it one more time, sir, please. Then the king commanded. We are reading the book of Daniel, chapter 6, verse number 16. Georgetti, you can open your Bible. Stephen, you can open your Bible. Everybody watching, open your Bible and see what we are talking about. Kingdom service. Dedication to kingdom service. Go ahead one more time, please. Then the king commanded. Then the king commanded. And they brought Daniel. And they brought Daniel. And cast him into the den of life. And they threw him. They what cast? They threw Daniel. Can you imagine? Someone never committed any sin. Because he's serving God. They threw him into the den of life. Go ahead, sir. Now the king spake and said. Now unto the Daniel, king spake. Uh-huh. And said unto Daniel. Yeah. Thy God, whom thou servest continually. Holy desert. The king recognized and said, Oh, Daniel, don't worry. Maybe somebody is having some challenges. And, you, and the governor of Georgia, that I noticed and I was told that that same God that you are serving continually, he will heal you from, he will heal you from this sickness. I mean, even that word they know is an encouragement. Am I saying something? Yes. Are you listening to me? Yes. From the king. He said, the God whom thou servest. Somebody said, I will serve God. From now, I will be committed to God. I will renew my service to God. Are you saying it better because I'm saying it? Are you sure? I said, are you sure? I'm not hearing it. Are you sure? Praise the Lord. Go ahead and listen to that place. Continue on it. Uh -huh. He will deliver thee. He will deliver thee. And the stone was brought. He said, The God whom you serve continually, is he able to deliver you? Yes. Yes. Go ahead. And the stone was brought. Now, look, let's go to verse 20. Verse 20. Hallelujah. And when he came to the den, and when the king came, he cried with a lamentable voice. On what the is the meaning of lamentable? He was sorrowful in his heart. He thought Daniel has been killed. Favor. He thought Daniel has been killed. They thought you would not receive your car back again. They thought you would not get everything back again. But the God you are serving, hello, make sure nothing touch my baby's bag. All our clothes, everything. She, am I speaking to someone tonight? Yes, sir. Why is Pastor saying that? You see, you know what's serving God here. Hallelujah. Service to God protects your interest. Amen. Service to God, I mean, protect and provide for you. Amen. Oh my God. Go ahead. Read verse 20, verse 20 again. And when the king came to the den, mm -hmm. he cried with a lamentable voice. He unto cried. Daniel. The king cried. Go ahead. And the king spake and said to Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel. O Daniel, servant of the living God. Yes. Is thy God, whom thou servest continually, mm -hmm. able to deliver thee from uh -huh. the lions? Go ahead. Then Daniel, then said Daniel unto the king. Yes, sir. O king, live forever. O king, live forever. Go ahead. 
my God had sent his enemy. Alice, everyone that is committed to God's service can never be destroyed by a mortal man. Amen. When you are committed to kingdom service, in all areas, you are going for evangelism. You are enrolling in one of the departments in the church because God can only use your service to bless you. That is the channel. You are doing the kingdom service. And listen again, can I add this one? You can't do service to bribe God. You can't be committing sin and saying, but I'm serving God. You cannot. I cannot. I will never do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm not posting my own but in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So you can't be serving God and be double dealing. If you are watching online, you can't get married and be committing adultery. And begin to shake your head. God will, he will not answer you. He will not. Because all things should have passed away. Oh, you are not saying amen to that. Amen. And all things shall, come, shall become new. If you are doing this, stop it. Or else you will be exposed. Amen. You will not fail. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Adultery is a sin. Fornication is a sin. Amen. Slanderer is a sin. Yes. All forgiveness is a sin. Yes. Are you with me now? Yes. Eating of people is a sin. Intentionally hurting people is a sin. Stop it. Lack of appreciation to God and to people that God has used to help you is a sin. Don't think you are there. We are not there yet. The Bible said, He said, God has sent His angel to deliver me. So when you serve God, God will send an angel to deliver you. Amen. Are you with me? From tonight, as we rededicate ourselves to God, God will send his angel to deliver us. Amen. Somebody say, I will receive it. I will receive In the name it. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Paul called himself the servant of God. Romans chapter 1. Hallelujah. Verse 1. That's what he said. He said, I, Paul, a servant of God. Are we there? Romans 1 verse 1. Anybody there quickly? Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ. Paul, what did he call himself? A servant of Jesus Christ. Paul, a servant. Somebody say servant. He said, I am a servant. Titus chapter 1, verse 1. Paul began to say, I am a servant of Jesus Christ. You can't be a servant of Jesus Christ and Jesus will allow anything to destroy you. Oh my God, somebody are you with me? Titus 1 verse 1. What did he say? Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ <laughs> according to the faith of God's elect Amen. and the acknowledging of the truth which is after I want to encourage you to serve God better. Yes, sir. Stop coming late to church. Stop it. Find something to do in the house of God. You see, Alex told me he wants to lead worship tonight. He came outside. You may not like what I'm saying, but he like, likes to mention it. Like but he came here. He can sing. Alex can sing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Aren't you glad when you see him singing? Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, I spoil a servant of God. Don't be ashamed to be a servant of God. Don't be ashamed to serve God. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I said, yeah. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. John chapter 9, verse 4. As we close today, you will not fail. Amen. I said, you will not fail. Amen. John 9, verse 4. Quickly. I must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day. Mm -hmm. The night cometh when no man can walk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I must walk. I must serve God when I have the strength. Hallelujah. Amen. I must serve Him. I said it again. Your service to God is a channel to your blessing. Amen. Your service. Your service. Your service to God. Hallelujah. Your service to God. What are service offer? When you serve God, what do you enjoy? The grace of God. Number one. You enjoy, you said, the grace of God. Some is a proof of our submission to God. Is it what? It's a proof. Are you listening to me? It's a proof that we love God, that we value God. When you value God, you serve Him with all your heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you know something? I was telling Pastor Lara, I, was, I told 
Alice when he came for prayer this morning. And I said, I left my job since around March. Up till now, it's when I left the job and I focused on the work of God that the church began to increase. Two of us. Answer me now. We bought the bus. So it is not because I am working, I have money that I'm having. I've been working out here because I'm working more now than when I'm working there. Praise the Lord. I'm, being work, I'm working more. You may not agree, but that is the truth. I know what I'm doing. Praise the Lord. The church increased. We have our own van. <laughs> Hallelujah! That, that you, you are not saying good thing. You are not sure about it. Amen. He said the night come and when no man can walk. So your service to God is a sense of value you give to your God. Is a submission to your God. Service is a proof of your dedication. Amen. What did I call it? It's a what? Proof. Alex, are you with me? Yes, sir. Proof of dedication. It's a proof of your dedication. It's a proof of we we'll move Alex to children's church to you. What up there? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and service is a proof of your value to God. Are you ready tonight? Yes. I want us to rise on our feet and begin to speak to God. You are watching online. Join us in this prayer. I'm beginning to speak to God. I say, Lord, I dedicate my service to you. I'm going to repeat this message on Sunday. I Because we're going to recruit people that will work for God. This Sunday, we are recruiting new people. I dedicate my service to God. When Daniel continually serving God, God deliver him from the dead of life. Even the way you give, your commitment in giving, your commitment in service, you have a gift, you cannot use it in the house of God. Ah, somebody pray tonight. Father, I renew my commitment to you. Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray. I renew it. I renew my service to you. I renew my commitment to you. Can you make that vow to that Lord from today? I will be known in heaven as a servant of God, as a woman of God. Nothing will stop me from serving God. Pray that prayer tonight. I will not be a castaway. Father, use me, Lord. I surrender to the of my life. Sharing the telecast is a service to God. When you share the telecast, when you open your phone and you share it to people on your page, you are preaching to them from your page. I'm telling you, beloved. So when you are doing that, you are sharing it to people. You are evangelizing. That is another service. Am I speaking tonight? Hallelujah. Lord, I consecrate myself. Pray that prayer wherever you are. Consecrate yourself. Send a bellum. Consecrate yourself. In the name of Jesus, ask God, use me to your glory. Before God can use you, you must be a servant of God. You must want, you want desire to serve God. He said, Oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. Early will I seek thee. If the pastor is alone doing everything, clean the chair, and mop the church, set the camera, the pastor is taking all the blessing, what about you? What are you doing? You gotta be in church one hour before service. To make sure everything is in place. We want to recruit soldiers for Christ. Are you one of the end time soldiers? Are you one of the end time soldiers? Are you ready to serve God with all your heart? Praise the Lord. Help me Lord. Help me Lord. Help me Lord. In Jesus mighty name. Can I hear your good amen tonight? Everyone online, can I hear your amen by tapping amen? Hallelujah. Yeah. So, Lord, we thank you. Thank you Lord. We give you praise. 
We honor you, Jesus. We magnify you, Jesus. We celebrate you, Jesus. I am blessed tonight. I don't know about you. Because I know I am I have ministered what God put in my heart for his own people. And I know, Father, because your word has gone forth, your people shall go forth. They crossed the rest of the court. There was a servant of God releasing the word. Father, as the word has gone forth tonight, release your people tonight. Amen. Bless them abundantly. Amen. Oh, everyone watching online, watching on site, wherever you are, from today, the grace of God to be more dedicated. Amen. Continually service. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, amen. Is it for me? Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Somebody say, I am, I am blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is so. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of our area of service is giving back to God. That's one of our area of service. We're about to give our offering. We're about to give our time. Mm -hmm. I depend on you. Jesus, the Son of God, I depend on you. Come on now. I depend on you. When you depend on Him, you will serve Him. Jesus, the Son of God, I will trust in you. Hey, I will trust in you. Jesus, Jesus, the Son of God, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Father, we thank you tonight. If you want to give online on Cash App, is dollar sign breaking for church seven. Giving online, dollar sign breaking for church seven. And you want to give to the Zell. It's on our emails, Breaking Forth Church, US LG at gmail.com. Breaking Forth Church, US as USA, LG as Lagos. Breaking Forth Church, US LG at gmail.com. Father Lord, honor the word of your servant tonight. Amen. All of us who have come to serve you, Father Lord, bless us continually. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Those giving to the cash up to the same, bless them abundantly. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, As you are dropping your seed, your seed will fight for you. Amen. I call it what a battle seed. What did I call it? Battle, battle seed. seed. Your seed will fight for you. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That is a prophetic bell. It will fight for you. And in that same night, the Bible said the Lord appeared unto Isaac. Before the daybreak, God will appear to you. Amen. And it will change the trajectory of your life. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I said, Amen. amen. Glory be. This is my own offering. I'm trying to praise the Lord. I want to make an announcement very quickly. One of the ways to evangelize again is to share the telecast on your own page. You are preaching to other people. Am I right? Yes, sir. So you go to your phone, you share it. <laughs> Except you are ashamed of your church. I will check all of you. Except you are ashamed of your church. You go there and you share. You evangelize. Praise the Lord. Am I saying something? You do that. Everybody on the line, you share the telecast. You share the telecast. You share to people. Georgette, are you listening to me? David, are you listening to me? Sarah Bella, are you listening to me? Everybody, you share it. And let me tell you something. That is to be a continuous service. Amen. Another thing we need to do is to go to our Breaking Forth Church page. I mean, Breaking Forth Church on Google. Go to your Google, type Breaking Forth Church, and go to the review. Review your church. Hello, are you listening to me, everybody? Yes. What did I say we should do? Review. Bimba, what did I say we should do? Review. Like, like, review. Go there and review it. Review. Talk about your church. If you go to your church on Google, among 10 churches, your church is among them. Amen. Go there and read the review. Hallelujah. Amen. And God will review your life with favor. Amen. 
That is another level of service. You will not feel in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we share the grace of family? Listen, on Sunday, it's going to be powerful. Amen. Please, invite somebody to church. Invite them to church. Don't just come alone. From now, begin to invite people. Tell them about what, what God is doing in your church. And listen, let me tell you something. In a year, one year from now, by the ending of July, 2023, we are moving to a 4,000 feet square feet space. Amen. Oh, somebody, are you saying anything to that? Amen. By ending of July 2023, Amen. breaking forth church by diligence and by God's favor, yes, sir. we are moving to a 4,000 square feet Amen. auditorium Hallelujah. with four offices, prayer Amen. room, Children church, Amen. youth church, hallelujah. Amen. Pastor's office, first lady's office, counting office, minister's room, hallelujah. hallelujah. Everything will be decorated. Amen. There. there will be bathroom for female Amen. and for male. Amen. There will be guest room for ministers. We Amen. call it green room. They will be seeing what is happening in the auditorium before you call them in. Amen. Lift up your hand and thank you. Thank As we are serving God. We will not lack any good thing. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As you go home tonight, go home in peace. Amen. Go home in what? In, in peace. peace. Go home in peace. in peace. As you are going home tonight, go home in what? In, in peace. peace. As we are going back, go home with God's blessing. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can we share the grace in fellowship? The, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ the the love, love of God. God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, God goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Somebody, God bless you tonight. See you on Sunday. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. See you. You are blessed.